As dog owners, we all strive to give our dogs the best, safest, and most fun homes. We would never want to do anything to hurt our dogs intentionally. We take them for walks, try to give them treats they like, and let them sleep on our furniture, sometimes. But did you know there are things that we do in our day-to-day -day lives that hurt our dogs without us even noticing? And in this video, we'll shed light on 13 harmful things you might be doing to your dog without knowing it. And make sure to stick around for all 13 things because just doing one of these things can harm our beloved dogs. Ready to get started? Let's go. Number 13, choosing the wrong collars. When it comes to our furry friends, we all want to ensure their comfort and safety. But sometimes the choices we make regarding their collars can do more harm than good. Using improper collars like choke or prong collars might seem like a way to control your dog but they can actually cause significant pain and injury, particularly to your dog's neck and throat. These collars work by applying pressure or pinching, which can be uncomfortable and even painful for your dog. Now, there might be a place and time to use these collars, but that will, of course, depend on the situation. A better alternative to these harsh collars is positive reinforcement training. Instead of relying on punishment, Positive of reinforcement focuses on rewarding your dog for good behavior. It not only strengthens the bond between you and your dog, but also encourages them to do what you want willingly. Additionally, consider using harnesses for your dog. Harnesses distribute pressure more evenly across their body, reducing the risk of neck and throat injuries. There are various types of harnesses available, so you can choose one that suits your dog's size and needs. Number 12, height of food dishes. In the late 1990s, Purdue University conducted a multi-year study on bloat, analyzing data that compared dogs eating from elevated feeders to those that did not. According to the study, approximately 20% in all dogs and more specifically 52% of cases of bloat in large and giant breed dogs were attributed to elevated or heightened food bowls meaning dogs that used elevated in height feeders were at a much higher risk of getting bloat, especially large dog breeds. Bloat in dogs is a serious condition where a dog's abdomen swells up, resembling a balloon that's ready to pop. This condition is particularly problematic for larger dog breeds with deep chests. It occurs when a dog's stomach fills up too quickly with gas, food, or water. Understanding bloat is essential because it can be very harmful and even fatal for dogs. If you ever come across a dog with a visibly swollen belly, it's a critical emergency and immediate veterinary care is necessary to save the dog's life. You should speak to your veterinarian when deciding whether to use an elevated food bowl or not. Now real quick, before we move into the 11th behavior, hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you never miss a new video from us. And if you're liking this video, make sure to hit that like button. Number 11, unknowingly encouraging separation anxiety. Dogs are social animals and they love our company, but giving them constant attention and over-dependence can unintentionally lead to separation anxiety when they're left alone. Separation anxiety is a condition where dogs become extremely anxious and distressed when separated from their owners. It comes in the form of destructive behavior, excessive barking, or even physical symptoms like pacing and drooling. To help your dog avoid separation anxiety, it's crucial to foster their independence. Here are some tips. Number one, gradual alone time. Start by leaving your dog alone for short periods and gradually increase the duration. This helps them get used to being by themselves. Number two, create a safe space. Designate a comfortable and secure area where your dog can relax when you're not around. Number three, stay calm during departures and arrivals. Avoid making a big fuss when leaving or returning home. A calm approach can reduce your dog's anxiety. Number four, use positive associations. Associate your departures with positive experiences for your dog. For example, give them a treat right before you leave and make sure they finish it before you leave. This is of course because we want to make sure that they don't choke when no one is around. By following these tips and gradually expanding your dog's 
alone time, you can help prevent separation anxiety and ensure your furry friend feels more at ease when you're not around. Number 10, giving them poor processed food. Did you know that low quality processed dog food can lead to various health problems? Low quality processed dog food often contains fillers, artificial additives, and low grade ingredients. These can contribute to issues like obesity, poor nutrition, and even allergies. Just like in humans, poor quality processed food can lead to obesity in dogs. The excess weight can strain their joints and lead to other health problems. It can also lead to nutritional deficiencies. Some low quality dog foods lack essential nutrients, leaving your dog malnourished. To ensure your dog gets the best nutrition, read food labels carefully. Look for dog foods with high quality ingredients, including real meat and minimum fillers and artificial additives. Consulting with your veterinarian for dietary recommendations is also a good practice. You can promote your dog's overall health and longevity by choosing a high quality diet. Number nine, using scented candles or air fresheners. While these products can make our homes smell wonderful for us, they might not be so great for our dogs. Strong scents from these products can irritate a dog's sensitive nose and respiratory system. This irritation can lead to coughing, sneezing, or even more severe respiratory issues over time. To maintain a dog-friendly environment, you will want to create a safe space for your dog where scented products are not used. This can be a room or an area where your dog can retreat if they find the scents bothersome. Also, if you want to keep your home smelling fresh, opt for dog-safe scents. These are pet-friendly air fresheners and essential oils available that won't harm your furry friend. Number 8. Overbathing Bathing our dogs is important for their hygiene, but overdoing it can lead to problems. Overbathing can strip your dog's skin of natural oils, leading to dryness and itching. It can also disrupt the balance of beneficial bacteria on their skin, potentially causing skin problems. The frequency of baths depends on your dog's breed and activity level. Generally, dogs don't need frequent baths. Using a dog-specific shampoo that is gentle on their skin and won't strip away natural oils is also crucial. Human shampoos can be too harsh for their sensitive skin and should be avoided. By following a suitable bathing schedule and using the right soap, you can keep your dog clean and comfortable without causing skin problems. Number seven, overexposure to loud noises. Dogs have sensitive hearing, and constant exposure to loud noises can lead to stress and anxiety. This stress can manifest in various ways, from nervous behavior to destructive tendencies. To create a calm environment, you will want to provide a quiet retreat for them. Ensure your dog has access to a quiet and safe space where they can retreat when they feel overwhelmed by noise. You can also use white noise. White noise machines or calming music can help drown out loud sounds that might upset your dog. Remember, a peaceful environment is essential for your dog's well-being, so being mindful of noise levels in your home can go a long way in reducing their stress and anxiety. Number 6. Letting them run the house While it might seem like you're a loving pet parent by letting your dog run the house, this can lead to behavioral issues and confusion about their role in the family. Here's why. When your dog runs the house, they may develop behavioral problems such as excessive barking, guarding behaviors, or accidents indoors. To set boundaries and provide structure, you can designate dog-free zones for certain times or all the time. These are areas where your dog is not allowed. A great example of one would be the dining room area while you're eating. This helps them understand their place in the household hierarchy. You can also use baby or dog gates. These gates can be used to block off certain areas of the house, allowing you to control where your dog can and cannot go. It is important to not use these designated areas as a penalty or a timeout space. These are simply places where you've decided your dog should not roam freely during certain times. Using them for punishment can create confusion and stress for your furry friend. Setting boundaries can help your dog feel secure and understand their role within the family. Number five, poor nail trims. 
Nail care is a vital but often overlooked aspect of dog ownership. Neglecting nail care can have serious consequences for your dog, including pain and difficulty walking. Overgrown nails can curve into the paw pads, making each step painful. Now, you should only cut your dog's nails if you are qualified to do so, and you will want to make sure that you take your time and do not cut the nails too short. But if you do decide to trim your dog's nails, the proper way to do so is by using dog-specific nail clippers. This can make the process easier and safer. You will also want to make sure you take your time and do not cut the nails too short. Be cautious not to cut too close to the part of the nails that contains blood vessels and nerves, known as the quick, which is the part that contains the blood vessels and nerves. Cutting into the quick can cause bleeding and discomfort. We recommend going to professional grooming services or having them cut when you visit your vet. Regular nail maintenance is crucial for your dog's comfort and mobility. Number four, swatting, hitting, slapping, kicking, or shoving. It's essential to understand the impact of harsh punishment and why positive reinforcement-based training methods are far more effective and humane. Harsh punishment like swatting, hitting, slapping, kicking, or shoving can cause both emotional and physical harm to your dog. Such actions can install fear and anxiety in your dog, damaging the trust between you and your furry friend. Fear-based training can lead to aggression and other behavioral problems. To promote positive reinforcement-based training methods, we again recommend positive reinforcement. Focus on rewarding good behavior with treats, praise, and affection. This approach encourages your dog to repeat desired actions willingly. Positive reinforcement improves your dog's behavior and strengthens the bond between you and your pet. Number three, neglecting your dog's teeth. Neglecting your dog's dental hygiene can lead to dental diseases and pain. Just like humans, dogs can suffer from gum disease, tooth decay, and other oral problems. Brushing your dog's teeth regularly with a dog-specific toothbrush and toothpaste is great. This helps prevent plaque buildup and keeps their breath fresh. Dental chews and toys also provide oral hygiene and help. Chewing helps remove tartar and strengthen their gums. Regular dental care not only ensures your dog's comfort, but also prevents potential health issues down the road. Number two, skipping flea, tick, and worming treatment. Skipping flea, tick, and worming treatment can expose your dog to numerous risks, including disease transmission and discomfort. Fleas and ticks can transmit diseases to your dog, including Lyme's disease and tapeworm infections. Worms, if left untreated, can cause a ton of health issues. You should consult with your veterinarian to create a plan to prevent these. They can recommend the right products and schedules for your dog based on their specific needs and risk factors. Preventing parasites keeps your dog healthier and ensures a safer and more comfortable life for your furry friend. Number one, bringing puppies to a dog park. While dog parks can be a great place for socialization, they can pose risks to young puppies. Puppies have developing immune systems and are an easy target for diseases. Dog parks can be a hotspot for the spread of illnesses like parvovirus and kennel cough. To ensure the safety and well-being of your puppy, consider alternate socialization methods such as enrolling your puppy in socialization classes specifically designed for their age group. These classes provide a controlled environment with age-appropriate playmates. You can also use playdates with other known puppies and dogs. Arrange playdates with friends or family members who have well-vaccinated and friendly dogs. This provides a safe and controlled setting for socialization. Remember, it's vital to prioritize your puppy's health and safety during their early development stages. Being a responsible dog owner means understanding these 13 actions that may unknowingly harm our furry friends and making necessary changes for their well-being. Remember to subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell, like this video, and share it with other dog lovers. See you in the next one.